Do you know the difference between factorials and factorial three? Well, this is known as subfactorials. They're very different. Let's take a look. Nice. First, let's remind ourselves about three factorial. Three factorial is talking about the number of ways of arranging three unique objects. Let's take A, B, C. How many different ways can we arrange these objects? Well, I can start with A, switch these two around. I could start with B and then have A, C, and then switch these two around. So there is six different ways of arranging three unique objects. Now, what do subfactorials measure? Subfactorials measure the number of D arrangements for a set of unique objects. And what it measures is when we look through our permutations, the elements cannot match the same position as the original set. Now, what I mean by that is, can you see that A is in the first position? The number of D arrangements observes the combinations where A is not in the first position. So can you see this has A in the first position? We're not allowed this. Can you see B is in the second position? If we go down, we can see CBA, we're not allowed that. And then finally, we have C in the third position. I can see this. Now, not including this, we're counting the number of unique situations. And here, there is two situations. So, subfactorial three is two. <laughs> nice.